What up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Houston series of the Barbell Brigade talk show. I'm with Silent Mike. I'm with Shawley. Um, how is Anaka doing? Because just over there, you're telling us you're setting up distribution centers in other continents. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, what do you think was the switch going from a project that you're doing in your bedroom to now this giant international enterprise? Man, I remember. Or how did it even start? Yeah, You're ironing on so a ironing on a graphic on a Hanes T-shirt. Oh, so <laughs> so I'll just give you the story of how it started. And a lot of people, when they hear this story, they think it's pretty crazy because Anaka almost wasn't a thing. But um, I was in my apartment, six hundred square feet apartment in Houston. And I remember I had a, a friend who is now my business partner, family friend who kind of, I trained online coaching and I helped him lose a lot of weight. He was like 275, got him down to like 211. And he's like, probably one of my craziest, I can pull it up, my, one of my craziest transformations ever. Like he went from that to like shredded. Wow. And uh, he honestly got me a lot of clients because of his transformation. <laughs> but anyways, a uh, family friend, he held me when I was a baby. Like we've been, we've known each other for a while. He just kind of, as he was my client, I started, co I kept coaching him. He came over one day to my apartment and he had this business idea he wanted to propose to me. And he brought over like a sample of like knee sleeves from like, you know, Asian manufacturers, like like overseas, like yeah. Chinese manufacturers. And um, I kind of, he laid it down on my coffee table. And I was like, yo, I think we should start our own knee sleeve company. And I looked at him, I was like, bro, no, like the fuck? Like we're not starting our knee sleeve. I'm not starting a knee sleeve company. That sounds stupid as fuck. And he was like, "Isn't that pretty random too for like the such bodybuilding a random, world?" Yeah, it was, for powerlifters, yeah. like we wear them all the time. Mm -hmm. But I never really saw bodybuilders wearing. But even that, what year are we in? I was it was twenty seventeen. Okay. So I was I, I don't know if you guys remember. I used to like squat a lot of weight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I used to squat like heavy like. Yeah, yeah. Like, I remember squat. You squatting five. five yeah, plates yeah, plus, like, yeah. I used to be on like Russell used to like try and trade me to be, like to be a power builder. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, I, I yeah. bro, my knee. That's probably why my knees are fucked up now. But I would squat like. 495 for 10 like I, I was yeah. pretty pretty strong back then so like he saw that and he him coming from a business background as well he came over to me and, and proposed this idea of starting a knee sleep company and I was just like bro that's stupid as fuck like I'm not starting a knee sleep company so I turned it down he went back whatever and then he was like yo he kept blowing me up yo I really think that we should start this knee sleep company I was like bro no like I don't think you understand. The knee sleeve company is not cool. It's like whack. It's just whack. Like, yeah. bro, like, come to me with a better business idea. Yeah. Maybe like fucking something like Alpha Lead or something like that. I'll say yes. He never gave up. And uh, one day he came over again, and this time he brought knee sleeves with like an actual like like a gorilla on it. It didn't have a name on it. It just had a gorilla on it. And I was like, bro, this dude is not gonna give up. Like, let me just give him a let me give him my time of day. Yeah. You know, let's just talk about it. Yeah. You know what, like if I'm gonna sit, if I'm gonna invest, if I'm gonna even give this the my day, like my time and my day, like let's just, let's sit here and come up with a name. So we sat on the couch just like this. I was probably here, he was probably here. And he was just like, let's just think of a name. And we're both like Nigerian. And we went down this list of like names of like powerful animals in, Niger in, our, in, in Nigerian dialect. And we came across one word that was Inaki. Anaki in Yoruba uh, dialect is gorilla. Oh. Um, we didn't like the way Anaki sounded, so we just played around with it. And I think either me or him, I think I said Anaka. He's like, what if we, I was like, what if we switch the I to an A? And he was like, damn, I like the way that sounds. That does sound cool. And this is 2017, yeah. my apartment. Yeah. And we're like, you know what, let's just ro let's roll with Anaka. So then Anaka in, in, J in, in, J in, Jap in Japan or in J Japanese, I guess, in one of the dialects means like like a rural country. So that's where that comes from. And then Anaki in Nigeria in Yoruba language means like gorilla. So you know what, Anaka, 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 we just kept saying Anaka and then he added in power. And I was like, you know what, I like the way that sounds, Anaka power, boom, Anaka power. So then we sat there, we created the Instagram. Um, and things just got super serious. I remember I had like $10,000 to my name probably. And I withdrew that entire $10,000 and just gave it to him. And I was like, wow. you know, like, I believe in you. I believe in this. If this fails, I'm going back to work for my dad. You'll never hear me again. Um, whatever. So 
Why was he so stuck on knee sleeves? Why isn't it in a backpack or like? Bro, I have no, f I have no idea, bro. He, you, till this so day, you never weird. asked him. Like, when, when I saw it first, because I worked in knee sleeves, mm -hmm. uh, when I first saw it, I thought it was genius automatically because mm -hmm. every knee sleeve on the planet was just black. Yeah, and y'all came with some color. Mm -hmm. Y'all came with some patterns, and mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I already see what they're doing. Like mm -hmm. they're they're onto something. Like mm -hmm. it is a an accessory. Not everyone just wears a uh, like a backpack. Yeah, it's an yeah. accessory. Gucci, everyone yeah. makes these crazy backpacks. So I was like, oh, this totally makes sense. I think Charlie's onto some shit. Yeah, but back then, and also back then, you have to remember 2017, squatting was fucking cool. Yeah, like, it's still cool, you dude. Were post, what do you mean? No, I'm saying like, you <laughs> you would post your squats, I remember. Like, we all, yeah. everyone would yeah, get yeah, on, on sure. Instagram, and yeah. that was like the main thing you would post sure. is how yeah. heavy you can squat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Russell, everyone was doing yeah. it. Yeah. So I think he saw that, saw how boring knee sleeves yeah. were, and was like, hey, like, you're squatting too. Let's bring something new to the table. Let's add design. For sure. And I remember when I fully locked in, after I'd already sent out my 10K, we got our first batch of like final samples or samples. And I saw them and I was like, oh shit, 2017, hitting the industry with this? Yeah. Oh, they're not ready. Yeah. Like we're about to fuck shit up, bro. How like, many was in your first order? We ordered a thousand. Oh, Damn. that's sold, a big jump, bro. Sold out, yeah, sold yeah. out. I'm, I'll never forget the day. Christian came over to help me, and I was living in like a, a like an. I moved to a bigger apartment at this time. He came over to help you pack. Mm -hmm. That's dope. Oh, dude, he's he a came homie, over, dude. Yeah. and we sat there and we launched, and I think the entire thousand pairs sold out in twenty minutes. No way. Damn. And that's when I sat there and I was like, okay. <laughs> Oh shit! Like, yeah. Can I have yeah. my ten thousand back, please? Yeah. No, no. I, I made it back, and I <laughs> yeah, remember. I think we made like we sold them for sixty-four bucks, so a thousand times sixty-four. Yeah. Sixty-four G's, yeah. twenty minutes. Yeah. It yeah. was it, for me. Days. I was rich. I was like, bro, I'm fucking rich. Let's go. I think we went out to a club that night. Christian took me out to a, a, a club that, that night. We partied, celebrated, whatever. And from that moment, I was like, okay. Let's continue to strike the iron while it's hot. Yeah. So then we started yeah. working on belts. We restocked the knee sleeves, started working on belts, started working on belts and did the same thing with belts. Every belt you see on the industry is plain. Yeah. How do we add the Anaka spin to it? We had graphic, we had pattern, we had, we had patterns, we had colors, those sold out. So now we were selling out of belts and knee sleeves consistently, nonstop. Was Damn. your homie coming at you? Like, yo, man, I tried to hit you up 10 times and you pushed me away. <laughs> nah, Look I, at me, bitch. I, I would always be like, bro, Sam, thank you. <laughs> That's dope. Thank you. Yeah. Till this day, bro, like if we're in a room and he's, because he doesn't get the shine, I get yeah, the shine yeah, yeah. because yeah, yeah. I'm the, the social face media, face. you know, yeah, 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 yeah. social media guy. And he, he sits, like if we're in an interview like this, he probably won't, he'll just sit over there and just be quiet. Like, he'll never know that he's the reason, like, I'm here. Is That's he rolling not. his eyes at you like, hmm? Yeah. Nah, nah. Like, I'd be nothing without me. Yeah. He's not, I mean, I'm sure he thinks that in his head from time to time, but he's the most humble, like, I love him. Um, That's dope. Like, I seriously would not be sitting here without him. So, like, That's dope. Um, I always try to give him the credit whenever, like, wherever I can. But, uh, no, it, it was crazy. And then, you know, wrist wraps came. And then one day I was like, you know what? I really love wearing clothes and stuff like that. So we started making shirts. Those sold out. It was weird, bro. It was almost like Supreme. Was everything always just bro, selling like, out within I mean, like 20 minutes? It was just weird, hour? man. Like belts, knee sleeves, wrist straps, shirts. It was just sell out, sell out, sell out. And a lot of people think that we were like faking the sellouts, bro. But we were selling out. <laughs> like we dope. were just selling out, bro. I remember, I'll never forget, bro. The first like graphic tee we came out with was the lightning tee. It was a shirt that was like lightning. It was like almost like a spinoff of the Mitchell and Ness, like lightning oh, yeah. Chicago Bull short yeah. shirt. But it was a Naka Power with the gorilla in the middle. Yeah, yeah. And it was lightning. I remember we uploaded 2,000 shirts and it sold out in like 20 minutes. For those that don't know, that don't work in the industry or anywhere, 2,000 shirts are a lot of shirts. And this is like, 2019. That's not, that's not rookie play. That's not first order shirt play. Yeah. 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 Most people are diving into 150. And one thing that I'll tell people that I, I don't really tell people this a lot, but now that it's 2023 and you're in a different level, but uh, those 2,000 shirts weren't even like made. I had a shirt down, I had a, I had a shirt, I had a, a shirt manufacturer down the road that could make shirts for me in like, you know, three or four days. And I kind of just gambled on myself. I was like, you know what? Let's just upload 2,000 shirts to Shopify, launch them at 10 a.m. randomly. Let's see how they do. Literally sold out in 20 minutes. Wow. And that's when I was like, okay, we're, we're killing it in accessories. Let's try apparel. And that's from that moment, apparel just took off. And I just started investing in more and more into apparel. Started, then we came out with shorts. Shorts dropped, boom, took off. And then 
I mean, the rest is history, man. What would you say is like your biggest marketing push or like out of all the things that you do, what do you think is the biggest converter and what you guys got going on? So for, for the longest time, it was our, our 13 millimeter belts. Um, until this day, our, our, our accessories are still very prominent in like the sales. Yeah. Um, but I would say our shorts now. I mean like more of like your, uh, your social media channels. It's like YouTube, oh. Instagram, or your emails. Instagram. Instagram. Knock up our Instagram, for sure. That that's more powerful than your own personal. Hundred percent. One, yeah, bro. I, bro, there's, yeah, there's people that know Anaka and don't even know who the fuck I am, yeah. which is beautiful. That's awesome. Yeah. But nah, definitely our IG, our Anaka IG for sure. What is uh, what is like a threshold that you've surpassed that maybe the 2017 you was like, that's crazy. I don't think I'll ever get there, and then you just like blew past it. You're like, you're like, how many thresholds are there? <laughs> Man, I mean, honestly, bro, just... Because setting up distribution centers in other countries is that's fucking huge. crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's Nike shit. You know... And I saw a video that you posted maybe a year or two ago, and it wasn't even anything. It was just an empty field. And I yeah, know what yeah, you're yeah. going to do. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, that's some crazy-ass shit right there. I think, for me, one thing that kind of still gets me today is, like, you know, I never thought that, like, I would be in the position that I am now. I'm in right now. And, um, you know, bro, like, man, you know, making seven figures every month is crazy. Like, and you have to remember, like, I was in my apartment. Yeah. So to, to turn down someone. Ten times. Ten times. Yeah. <laughs> and then to see, you know, the $64,000 launch and then. You know, you're making six figures every two, three months, and then your first, I think our first year we made like, man, because we launched in June, so we didn't really have enough time to really do something else again that year. I think we made like 80K that year. And then the next year we made- Because all like, the lead times and exactly. stuff. Exactly. Yeah. The next year we made like 180. And then the year after that we made like 400. And then we, the next year after that we just, that's when we started making like, you know, seven figures and then eight figures. Because you then, just kept dumping like all the revenue mm -hmm. right back into it. Mm-hmm. So now to be where we're at right now, to answer your question, I would never would have said, I would have never ever guessed that we would be like a, you know, a seven figure re like revenue month, like month to month company. Like that's fucking insane to me till this day. Like I, I it's, 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 it's crazy. Like, but it also gives me motivation and, rem and reminds me that, okay, like we have something fucking big, Yeah. you know, you know? like I can't take this for granted. I have to keep fucking working. Cause like, you have to see now you see now like supplements and mm -hmm. now we're getting to performance like i'm i'm literally trying to continue to do what we did in 2017 which was like all right we're killing with these sleeves on let's do belts let's do wrist wraps let's do shirts let's do shorts i'm still on that wave six years later of like obviously whatever we're doing is fucking working yeah i'm gonna keep fucking running up the fucking bill bro until i yeah. until someone tells me i can't do it until no the wheels fall supplements off. real estate performance like I want to be dominant in as many mar markets as possible. And if it doesn't work, bro, at least I fucking tried, you know? Yeah. When it's was, working though. <laughs> yeah, it is working. Yeah. When was Shali the most hungry? 17 in a 600 square foot. And you're like, man, I got to do something. I don't want to be in this apartment no more. Or was it 2023 Shali where everything's rolling and you got this momentum? Cause I could see myself being hungry in both situations. Yeah, like do IKEA couches make you hungrier, or yeah. do Lambo seats make you? Yeah, hungrier? like I want I want three Lambos now, or damn, I need to. I don't want to eat the or dollar this, menu this, no this more. This couch is about to fall apart. Here, um, you. I'm a lot more hungry now. You know why? Because I have uh, employees to like look after. Mm -hmm. I think that weighs heavily on my mind every single day. Every single day. Every single second of my day, I'm always thinking about like my team. Yeah, I'm always thinking about how like. You know, and it's weird that I think like this, but like, you know, seeing some of my employees, like they get their cars, like they're, they've pur they purchased their first big, like nice car, or like they get their first, like nice apartment, or like, you know, they're making all these life advancements. And I have to remind myself like, damn, like the reason all of this is happening for all of us is because of Anaka. Yeah. So like, I have to stay hungry, you know, in order to like, you know, make sure that they're good, I'm good, their families are good, yeah. like our families are good. Like I'm I'm a lot more hungry now with my team because of my team now. You turn into like a dad. Essentially, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like in a lot of ways. If if business isn't doing well, then 
they're not going to be doing well. Yeah. And then what are they going to do, you know? So I'm definitely a lot more hungry. I have more responsibility now, a lot more responsibility. So I'm, I'm hungrier than ever right now. That's dope, man. Mm -hmm. Dude, so many good episodes. Can't wait to get into the next one. See you guys in the next one, the Houston series. <laughs> <laughs>